Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Aries. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be doing the Astrology Celtic Cross. So we will start off with the sun sign. Let's try that. What's the sun for Aries? Oh, we got a two fur. Okay. I only read them in the uprights for this reading. Um, <clears throat> for the Celtic cross and let's see we have cause for celebration and then we have the devil so this could be for a Capricorn it also could be something of desire um, something they have really desired is being celebrated here what's the moon what's the emotions behind this please what's the moon for Aries okay we have team player teammates cooperation here for emotions so there's an alignment here for emotions and this is the king of cups so this is something I feel like with the king of cups this could be something that is um, they're very compassionate about or passionate about I want to say and shows compassion is tolerant to certain things sensitive and understanding so I feel like very sweet person here that's very cooperative. This is his emotions or her emotions. And keep in mind, just because the King of Cups come up doesn't mean it is a masculine. It could be just the emotions that you are feeling if you're a feminine, you just be showing up in your masculine side. Let's see here. What's the rising? How other people view you? How do other people view you, Aries? Let's see. How do other people view you, Aries? Oh, we got a two for again. Okay, so you take time out to heal. And you're very patient here when it comes to how others are seeing you. Which is very sweet, very nice. What about Mercury? How you think? How are you thinking? What are you thinking about that has you looking a certain way and on how you think okay so we have the death card so this with the death card I mean this is Scorpio this is about endings this is about um, change really and transformation something old closes out so something new can begin so I feel like you're all about change and you're not afraid of change or you don't mind change. You, you can adapt fairly well, I feel. What's your Chiron? How you heal? Okay, so you might have a competitive streak, um, but when it comes to chaos, I feel like you, whatever stressful situation that you're in, you transmute that to your benefit. I feel like you don't dwell in it. Um, you transform it to find a solution or a positive aspect towards whatever it is that you need to heal from. What's the way that you love here for your Venus? Let's see, okay, you're the hermit. You take the time and you go within. This is beautiful. This is Virgo energy. This is about being patient, soul searching, that self love. So you love on yourself because you know with healing, it helps you, I feel like vibe up to the next level, whatever you're meant to be doing next. You, It's like you're here, you pass the test. Now you're here, you pass the test. And now you're here and now you passed your test. And each time your your um, vibration gets higher and higher and higher. You evolve. What's your Mars? How you deal with life? Okay. So you may have had a lot of deception or people that have, I want to say, burdened you or stabbed you in the back. You may have been, you may even be one of the cho chosen ones, which is very tough road because <laughs> with being a chosen one a lot of people don't like your light don't like they feel like you're a threat or 
you intimidate them in some way, shape, or form. And people can be kind of domineering and revengeful almost, stab you in the back or talk shit about you behind your back. They'll pretend to be your friend and then turn around and stab you. So I feel like you've had that happen when you've had to deal with life. I feel like you, let's get another card. I feel like you're kind of, um, yeah, you've learned <laughs> with the page of pentacles you've you've studied this you've you've grown this is somebody that's studious like they they study things they learn things i feel like you may even uh watch and learn that way you gather information i feel almost like the um page of um swords it's kind of like you you watch you may not communicate, but you collect information. And you learn from whatever it is that people do. I feel like you transform that. What's your uh, series, your self-love? Okay. Yeah, you've had a lot of broken hearts. Um, it could be a lot of people have maybe not ex you weren't expecting certain people to do you dirty and this may have broken your heart you may have thought they were a certain way and they ended up proving to be something different i feel like with this broken heart here um the three of swords here i kind of feel like this is something that helped you grow actually it's kind of sad in some ways that some things can be very devastating, but the more devastating it is, the quicker we grow from it. Um, maybe on what not to do, you know, uh, or what to look for, and maybe recognize things when you see people that you're able to pick out certain people that you kind of can tell what they're about or you have that knack of that emotional connection where you can feel what they're feeling. They don't have to say anything. You already know. What's the Jupiter and the luck? Ah, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Okay. That is very good luck. <laughs> that is Jupiter. That's, that's all about luck. That's change in cycles, that's fate, that's unexpected luck. This is beautiful. This is something coming in for you, I feel. What's your Saturn, your discipline and responsibility? Okay, so we have whatever you um, your responsibilities may be, they may feel like a burden a lot of the time or maybe just too hard to do. Let's get another card. Ah, but you can, <laughs> you have all the tools to manifest what you truly desire. So really, um, these burdens that you may feel, you have every way of changing that for yourself. You just have to believe in yourself and have the discipline to maybe go after certain things that you want in your life. You may have to... Um, maybe go back to school and learn a different trade or whatever it is that you're wanting in your life, Aries, you're going to have to um, be disciplined enough to go after it. But I feel like you may not even know what you want in your life yet. And if you haven't really thought about it, it might be that you need to take the time to really think about what you might want in your life. Yeah, for what you want for work, the Eight of Pentacles. So this is about <clears throat> manifesting your dream job. Your, maybe you wanna retire, maybe you just wanna travel, maybe, but you have to have the money to do all these things. So where are you gonna get that money from? How are you gonna get that money? Are you gonna win the lottery? Are you going to manifest your dream job of something you've always wanted to do like it's about taking the time to really think about what you might want in your life and going after it 
taking the steps towards what you wanted to do. Neptune. Imagination. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords for that. This is about change. This is about wanting change. This is about communication, the intelligence. I feel like you're very smart. You're maybe independent and strong. I feel like you have an objective that you're wanting to go towards. You may be very de determined to go after what it is you want. And this is beautiful because this is going to, whatever you're imagining for yourself, it's quite easily to bring that to fruition with your manifestations with your Saturn. So I feel like whatever you have in your mind that you can imagine can be. <laughs> that makes sense. So what's Uranus, the uniqueness that you are? Ah, the Nine of Cups. Excuse me. So you're very satisfied where you're at at this point. And if you're not, this is where you're working towards whatever you're wanting to manifest here. You're already at the Nine of Cups. I feel like the Tenth Cup for you may be in love. There's a family here. And the Ladybug is all about luck and um, having good things come in for you. You might get some communication here with all these birds here. So what's your palace? Now this is your relationship here. Huh. So you might have some anxiety, maybe hanging on to somebody here with the four of pentacles. So this might be somebody from your past Aries that you're really hanging on to. Can I get one more card for relationships? Ah. <laughs> Judgment. Okay. Now you look at the card and she's very beautiful there. This is either you or your person that you're trying maybe to find out from spirit which way to go here. Now, like I said before, there's always tests. So are you going to go back to the past or are you going forward to someone new here? Because you are hanging on to somebody and there's some anxiety here when it comes to this. This might be somebody new you just met. This could be somebody from your past. The past hasn't come out yet. So this could be somebody new. What's your fortune, your wealth? What's your abundance here? Hmm, truth. So it's different for everybody in what they feel is... Um, what they feel is a treasure, okay? Whether it's love or what they feel is abundance. Don't follow someone else's ideas of what wealth is. That may be what wealth means to them. What does wealth mean to you? So truth is a big one for you. What else? Passion. Going after whatever you're passionate for with the Knight of Wands. So I feel like with the Knight of Wands, this is a lot of energy. You're in, this is like inspired action here. Adventure. I'm almost feeling like that Sagittarius, um, happy-go-lucky kind of energy again with this card. I With all the flowers there and just... A smile on his face and he's just happy to go after <clears throat> what he wants he's kind of fully armored not in this one but in the regular um card for the page of wands they're fully armored ready to fight for what they want having that courage so having the courage to speak a truth. So maybe there's something you're meant to do here. Maybe you're meant to go back to whoever you're holding on to and make that judgment call. Maybe this might be because you're, you might be going through, I want to say karma. If the judgment is here, this is, this is debts that need to be paid. 
karmic debts that need to be paid. So truth and coming forward to somebody from your past might be where you're meant to go. What should you know your influence? What's who's influencing you? You're a wounded warrior, so you may be kind of in that um, wounded warrior kind of mentality where what was me? Um, I got hurt. But instead, look at it as a life lesson. What did you learn from it? Not what this person did to you, but how did you participate in this? What did you do that was having this, whatever it was, fall apart in the first place? So you kind of have to really go in and look at what it was. Maybe you didn't have enough boundaries up. Maybe you let this person walk all over you. Maybe you weren't listening to your intuition. It could be a lot of things that you're doing that contributed to whatever this was. Maybe you lied. Maybe you cheated. Maybe you did some things. Maybe there's shame here. This is the time to go within and have a look at what your side was. So maybe you have a victim mentality that needs to change. Yeah, you're having sleepless nights because of this. So there is something that is here that is causing you to have these sleepless nights. What's your Vesta, your potential here? Oh, got a twofer. Okay. Okay, so maybe you're not seeing something that's right in front of you. This is the Knight of Pentacles, and this is all about being practical, reliable, slow and steady wins the race, right? Hardworking, being that diligent person, <clears throat> excuse me, that um, my throat chakra here, there's something that needs to be spoken here. I feel like the potential here is maybe passing up an opportunity here. With your potential so be careful not to miss something that was meant for you here what's your self node here your past life hmm yeah you're crying over spilt milk at some point you were in loss or sorrow could be that you were um had a death in the family or it could be just about anything that's made you sad uh, or feel a loss of some kind What else for the past life, please? The South Node. Ah, somebody may have walked away from you that made you very sad. Could be this lifetime, could be your past lifetime. What's your mid-heaven, your career? Okay. So we have the Page of Swords and we have the Two of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like you're trying to adapt to some type of communication or useful information. You might be curious about something. You're trying to adapt, however, to something to balance it, I feel. There's some, there's some need of communication I'm feeling here. So you may have had with your career where Possibly a peacekeeper, I'm kind of feeling like you may have been in the Peace Corps. Maybe you were in some type of nego negotiations. Maybe you spoke a lot of different languages that helped you adapt to whatever communication you're meant to be doing here. I kind of feel like it's, hmm. This could be talking with spirit too. Um, I ca I'm almost feeling like mental clarity here, adapting to maybe communication from spirit. There's something to do with communication and adapting for some type of career here that you're either meant to be doing or you're already doing. What's your Lilith, your hidden emotions? What's your Lilith, your hidden emotions? <laughs> well, you may be single or wanting to be single. This is my single card for the Nine of Pentacles. You're very satisfied, fruitful. 
you have a lot of things coming in you're looking at building that tenth pentacle which is family wealth this is something that is very abundant already all by yourself there's only one person in this card i feel like you might be quite satisfied with how things are going at this point um now these might be hidden emotions people don't know this about you you're feeling pretty good about how things are going or you're hiding that you want to be single one of the two here what's your moon j this is your roots family and ancestors here ha ha your 10th cup here so this is about possibly speaking with your ancestors here this may be something that you're really wanting to do. This is about how unique you are. You're at the ninth cup. And I feel like your family may have gifts here when it comes to speaking with spirit. This is something that's been in your family. This is your roots. This is your ancestors. This, is, this goes back quite a ways. What's your north node? What's your current life right now? What do we have for that? Boundaries and the King of Pentacles. So you may, you might be a business owner. You may have a uh, family wealth here. You may have um, a business that's being very fruitful. You could have a lot of wealth here, but you've had to fight for it. I feel like you've had to put up these walls towards other people or block people out. Having boundaries to say, I'm not doing that or I'm not putting up with that or you've had to you had to boss up you bossed up or you're going to this is coming for your current life or you may already be in this already Aries now the bottom of the deck is transformation <laughs> now we have the world card so I feel like whatever <clears throat> Whatever you're needing to do to transform, you have the world in your hands or something is ending so something new can come in. This could be a, um, I feel like things needed to end with possibly family, something to do with family, uh, maybe family curse or some type of I'm not really getting the word for this. This has to do with a new phase. Something new is starting. This is something that is Saturn. This has to do with discipline. This is about success, celebrating success, ending things out. Harmony. I'm feeling harmony here. Look at all the beautiful colors in this card. Like, it's really beautiful. I feel like you might be on a new path. You've transformed to a new level. And maybe that's where these levels are coming in for me. Another level. Wow. This is really great, Aries. I really like this reading for you. Now, I've added in um, a few other... Um, uh, things that I didn't have in here before, like the fortune and um, the Chiron and the series and the Imunje. So I've kind of added a few more things in here to really get a really good look at your astrology. And this is really going to resonate with somebody, maybe not everybody, maybe parts will. Take whatever resonates, kind of leave whatever doesn't. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up for me. You know I love y'all. And I'm going to leave it here, so stay blessed always. And we will see you next time. Later.